correct and wonderful people. Victory at last for Queen Naomi Shine Okola Ogunsi as she has regained her crown as the Yeloa of the Souls. We heard that Kabi Esi Oba Adeye yesterday throughout was an emergency meeting with the traditional elders of Yelefe. And they were discussing how Queen Naomi will enter palace before the end of this month. Kabiesi has come out today to announce that Momit Sedinekawo's return is going to happen very soon before this uh, festive season so that they will be able to enjoy Christmas as family. The wellers in the palace, they have heard the news of waiting Kabiesi they do of the preparations that is ongoing about Queen Naomi's return. And they cannot rest. They were crying. They were wailing. That how can Kabiesi embarrass and disgrace them in this manner? Upon they don't want Queen Naomi back in the palace. Kabiesi is still pursuing to make sure say Queen Naomi Shilekola returns back. Like I said, destiny can be delayed but cannot be denied. The Olori is after all their buzzwords, after all their babalawo stuff, their juju and charms, where then they use on Kabi Esi and Queen Naomi, still they cannot make Queen Naomi's return not to happen. So now we heard that Mami Tedunekao is going to be crowned again as the Yehelua of the souls. Remember, when Queen Naomi left palace, she did not live with that crown. She came out to tell us that she can no longer be addressed as the queen of Ilefe people. Rather, let people address her as the queen of the people. That she is not envious of that uh, crown. It better make it the palace until Kabiesi decide by himself who he wants to have the crown. And Kabiesi has already made that decision very long ago. That nobody will have that crown until when Naomi returns back. And we all know that Mariam, with all these buzzwords, when they give Kabiesi for palace, it is because of that crown she wants to have it. She has tried in so many ways to have the crown and they said no. To the extent that Mariam carried bags of money to go and bribe Ilefe women, you know, work. She went to go and bribe the Ilefe traditional elders, still, you know, work for her. And she is in the palace, hopeless. Because at this point, she cannot use money to buy that crown. Rather, the crown is going back to the original owner. We all know that Queen Naomi did not choose herself as the Yehelua of the source when she came into the palace. She wasn't from a royal family. It was Kabiesi that made her royalty. So when she came into the palace, she did not drag for anything. Because she knows that she comes from a poor background. She respected herself. But because the gods has already chosen her, as the chosen one at the same time as that woman that will wipe away Kabiesi's tears by giving him Prince Tedenikau, they choose Queen Naomi. And they gave Queen Naomi the crown of the Yeyedua of the souls. And at the same time, they gave Queen Naomi the staff of the Yeyedua of the souls. If you watch in that palace, you see that when Queen Naomi was in the palace, there was a particular chair that she normally sits on. Immediately she left, we heard that the chair has been covered since that time. Nobody has sat on that chair because... The gods believe that Queen Naomi will have her way back in order to sit on that chair. It is a precious year, given to the chosen one only and not to other Oloris. Like I tell people that when I see Miriam and Deron K and the attention seeker Ashley, they are the ones that force themselves into the palace. Kabiesi did not want to marry them. They force themselves in there. And that is why they cannot be treated the way Queen Naomi is being treated. Queen Naomi is treated like a god in the palace. 
because it is Kabiesi that wanted her, like other ones that wanted Kabiesi. The gods choose her as that person because they have already looked into Queen Naomi's heart and they see that Queen Naomi, she has a pure heart, she doesn't think or plan evil to anyone and they said, yes, this is the person we are looking for. We are going to give her the Yehidua of the source. We are going to give her the crown queen of Elevi people. And that was how the Eva priest them informed the Elefe, uh traditional elders, the Elefe women, and they come together and they bestow that title on Queen Naomi. Ikon the envy the Mamalawus. Say how come a child of yesterday? Because for that palace, Queen Naomi is the smallest. Up till now, I don't care where go marry Kabiesi. I don't care they don't reach 64 years. When I see Olori Mariam, she don't reach 56 to 60 years. When I see Ashley, she's in her late 40s. Tell me to be the same thing. Now Elizabeth, where you go talk, say, ah, Elizabeth now a small child, but still, she's senior queen a woman. Attention seeker, she used one year senior queen a woman. So he can't prepare them for body say, how can a woman of yesterday go enter palace, take our position? Say, Queen Naomi cannot have the Yehelua that she is the smallest. Now, so Miriam can they drag the Yehelua title, the Yehelua crown and everything. Kabi has stated it clear to each and every one of them. You cannot have it, oh, it is not going to be yours. Queen Naomi is that queen of 11 people, the one where everybody recognizes. So they will wait for her to return. So now, when, uh, uh, now that Queen Naomi is about coming back, we heard that Elefe people are making plans to give Queen Naomi her title and her staff back before festive season. My correct and wonderful people. I beg make a great one before we carry this our Afroco de Go. Good morning, afternoon, evening to you all according to your time. And the time we will not take this in this video. Yeah, welcome back to Tessis TV. And we are still on the gist about waiting this stuff for inside palace. The Oloris forget to understand that what God has put together, no matter how hard they try, they cannot separate it. They might cause katakata, but tomorrow it might get better. Because when I see for past three years, now so katakata between Queen Naomi and Kabiesi. People thought that by now Queen Naomi would have been married. But last, last, waiting happened, they find a way to get back to each other and reconcile. And as they reconcile now, Kabiesi don't know the truth, say, ah, now the old Lord is where they pressure me to divorce Queen Naomi, I cannot do that. I still want her back. They started whirling. And we know, say, they are still going spiritual. To know if they feel scatter this sweet love where Kabiesi and Queen Naomi have now. But we pray say no go work out for them. All their plan go return to them in thousand folds and they will be pursued out of the palace in no distance time. My great and wonderful fans. And the story will be carried on from inside palace with this. As we heard that Queen Naomi Shirekola Ogunsi is victorious as last because the Levi people are now making plans to bestow her title back to her as the crown queen, I mean, as the crown queen of Elevi people, and her beloved son, Prince Tadinekawo, is the crown prince of Elevi people. I beg all my wonderful people, make una gada chukma for this approco. Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, stay tuned, stay connected. For more updates, will be coming to your doorstep from time to time about waiting the store for inside palace allegedly.